Hello everybody. In this video, I am going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $98,633.09. In the past year, I am currently up $27,445.71. Year to date for the year 2024, I am up $8,260.30. Today was a green day for me. I made some money. During the day, I made $161.21. And then after hours, I am up another $476.10. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling LUV $28 covered calls. These expired July 5th. My total return, I am down $330. I'm selling Google $180 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return $156. I'm selling Robinhood $18 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return $950. I'm selling Starbucks $80 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return $462. I'm selling SoFi $8 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return $546. I'm selling Amazon $210 covered calls. These expire July 26. My total return, $96. I'm selling PayPal $65 covered calls. These expire July 26. My total return, $30. I'm selling Disney $110 covered calls. These expire August 2nd. My total return, $24. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $185.66. My average cost, $98.95. My total return, $26,016.89. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $6.54. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $5,500.80. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $102.74. My average cost, $60. My total return, $12,822. I have 1,000 shares of Robinhood. Robinhood is at $21.50. My average cost, $17.53. My total return, $3,975. I have 500 shares of Southwest Airlines. Southwest Airlines is at $28.47. My average cost, $28.03. My total return, $220. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $179.98. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $3,750. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $59.75. My average cost, $57.70. My total return, $410. I have 200 shares of Starbucks. Starbucks is at $79.73. My average cost, $78.15. My total return, $320.50.
This is a margin account. My margin total is $115,350.27. My margin used is $103,026.09, which leaves me with $12,324.18 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $46,000. $591.09. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. The annual interest rate that I'm paying is 6.25%. The daily interest that I'm paying is $17.84. And I'm borrowing $1,000 interest free. So I'm pretty happy with the way things perform today. It was a slightly green day, up 0.16%, so barely anything, but still. Better than losing like over a thousand dollars, right? Which uh, sometimes I've had those days where I lose over a thousand, even fifteen hundred dollars. But thankfully today, at least I'm green a little bit. Now I did do more covered calls. I think I added some today for Disney, for example. Disney one hundred ten dollar covered calls. I was debating on what strike price I wanted. I knew I wanted to do covered calls on Disney. Either this or spreads, but I opted for covered calls. Um, so I chose the one hundred ten dollars strike price, and we'll see the where you know we'll see where things go. Disney is at one hundred two right now, and I think Amazon. I chose the two hundred ten dollars strike price this time. Right now, Amazon is at one eighty five, and we're slowly approaching earning season again. I try to choose expiration dates that are right before the earnings call so we'll see what happens but yeah 210 um like i said or in my previous videos i sort of see covered call positions for these type of stocks as like a win-win because if amazon actually does go up to 210 dollars i make a significant amount of money anyways and if it doesn't then i keep my amazon shares which i want anyways and i just gain some premium so that's why I see it as a win-win. But yeah, I chose the $210 strike price. And like I just explained, if it really does go up to $210, i will be happy either way. Let's see, what else? I think that should be it. Um, so this is what my portfolio looks like now. And I'm mainly doing only covered calls. I was thinking about spreads for a little bit, but... I chose to just keep on doing uh, covered calls right now. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this portfolio. So I'm around 99,000 again. Um, hopefully things keep on going well and I make it above 100K again. All right, I'll keep on making more updates in the future to let you guys know like what positions I have, if I get rid of anything, if I change strike prices, if I buy something new, I'll let you guys know. But that's pretty much it for this portfolio update for now. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more of this content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Bye.